Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dragon Ball Z League off-season event Tournament of Power 2021 Episode 3 of the Grand Finales I'm Ryan And I'm Jay And so today's episode we are going to have the bronze medal for the actual Tournament of Power Earlier this week we had our Kai matches uh, But now we have the actual Tournament of Power bronze medal bad boys the top of the league fighting for third place what yeah the ranks one and two teams are fighting for third <laughs> well um i don't know i don't have anything to say so will the bad boys or the androids get the win oh we'll find out but Let, let's get into this match what do you what say you I say let's do it, because I do think that it's very interesting that the first... Oh my god, what happened to the map, everybody? What? We have so new many maps! Enjoy! <laughs> we. This is all for fun. This is the most busted of busted maps. This is like Mountain Road on steroids right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's the whole you can fly under the rock thing. I see that. Yeah. Similar to the ships and lookout and all that. Oh, uh, this is... I, I kind of like the colors. I, I really do enjoy this one just because it's the most interesting, like, crazy new map. Oh, Anders Anger. Uh, uh, does not do connect. It, <laughs> it kind of connected. Um, Majin Buu coming in with defense plus three, attack minus one, indignation, latent energy, fighting spirit, Dende's healing, and Chao Tsui going up against Android 8 with attack plus two, defense minus one, eternal life, serious indignation, and Cell AI. Ooh. Hater's Anger again. Gonna get a nice hit off that one. Yeah. And, and a howl. Going up to max power. Lower defense, higher attack, though. Gets stunned for it. All right. And Majin Buu capitalizes on it. All right. That wasn't too bad. Ooh. Nice Aider's Angle. But that was better. Yeah. This map is so awesome. I love the idea of just all the rocks floating. And uh, it just seems like a lot of fun because it's it's very different than what we're used to. And they're, oh. <laughs> oh wow, they're very under the rocks. Yeah, <laughs> and they keep on colliding with them. They're like colliding Aider, with them for a ceiling of some sort. It's it's so Aider weird. Has but so cool. not lost a bar yet, and he's gonna punch or it. Or at least oh, he's wow. healed it back. I mean, false yeah, courage helps. Just gonna another punch. punch you. Send you right into the, the rock and picks him up. And, oh my god, he tried. There you go. That's the damage that you want to see. Yeah, finally he's getting that damage because Aider does have a defense negative, but just Boo can't really capitalize on it because Aider is just so aggressive. And Aider's anger, that's going to connect. Will it finish him? Not quite. He has that defense plus three. Yeah. But, I mean, it looks like WDFA really wants that uh, bronze medal. Ooh, but Kui comes in. A nice tag from Boo. He'll come back, and that should help them later down the road. Kui coming in with key plus two, super minus one, serious indignation, fighting spirit, light body, launcher support, and Yajirobe AI. Oh, man. Aider's just going with these punches. I would recommend Master Throw, but I feel like his B2s are too good to, like, sacrifice, what is it, half damage? Uh, something like that, yeah. I mean, you get an explosive wave, you get a charge attack. I mean, it's good. Yeah, and I don't think the grab is worth j all that. No. Like, it makes sense on 16. 16 has a very small rocket punch and then a grab B2, so. And his grab is also just insane. Yeah. Look at this, though. Aether is on his second character, eating that with the, yeah, the false courage. I was going to say, Kui feels like a really bad matchup for Aider. Aider feels like he's just so high damage, and Kui 
is a weaker character, so when he goes up against a really strong character, he struggles. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Queen's gonna. Master Queen's Third gonna... doesn't affect B2s? Oh, that's Master Strike. Ah. Well, then maybe they should think about Master Throw on him. We wins high speed clash and tags bringing Vegeta in. <laughs> oh, those rush blasts. Yeah, Vegeta. Oh, and there's another Aider's Anger. Vegeta coming in with attack plus two, defense minus one, serious quick fast attack, savior rush blast three, and trunks AI. And there, finally, there goes Aider, but I mean, damage done. Absolutely. And <laughs> he, he did his mark, and now 17 is coming in. Who we know is crazy. And because he threw out that one energy ball, it distracted Vegeta and ended up getting the ult off for 17. That is insane. Because Vegeta, because uh, 17 is coming in with super plus two. So that did 18,000 points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, he also has high tension, serious indignation, and savior and shouts of AI, which Both I think was the flash, same as his guy. Yeah, and 17 has gotten the lead so big that I I don't know if Bad Boys can bring this one back. I don't know. Super Saiyan uh, 2 Vegeta would like to have a word with you after taking a photon to the face. <laughs> well, would he now? Okay. Well, I mean, maybe he could have a word with me after the match in the locker room because uh, I don't think he's going to stay up for much longer. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Ooh, Kui's coming in with two bars. Looks like the game has to think about the map for a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the side effects of modded maps. We're still kind of figuring them out. This is definitely a work in progress test sort of thing still. I mean, it's working, so that's all that matters. As long, uh, he's going to catch him a little bit. There you go. This Just is, kind of nicks him. Yeah, this is such a uphill climb for bad boys, though. Two bars versus six and a half. Yeah, I don't I don't see how they can bring this back personally, especially with 17 having a great performance. This mm -hmm. this is just I don't I think this is it. It's thinking. There we go. <laughs> Alright, Boo needs the performance of his life in order to get this for the bad boys. Yeah, I know Pilaf isn't the strongest character, but I don't think he's that weak either. That defense build helped him against that B2, but I mean, he only has Dende's, it looks like. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think Pilaf's going to need to come out on the field. No, it, nope, that's it. WDFA with a two-person victory, getting the bronze medal for... Uh, for the tournament of power best two out of three wdfa was able to take the first one will they be able to repeat their performance i think they have a pretty good chance they have a pretty stacked lineup all right so um yeah we, we didn't say that the bad boys were eliminated no that was that was us from a different timeline but i mean bad boys yeah. do have to win the next two in order to prevent themselves from being eliminated they're definitely on the back foot. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, back foot can end up being uh, triumphant for some teams. So we'll never know. Yeah, I mean, there's, this is still generally, I mean, they're the number one and two seeds. So there's a reason that they have this potential to win it. Um, they both lost to underdog teams, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah, in which we still have a significant underdog team. Uh, Eating for the finals. Yeah, in the finals. So we'll see how that works. Yeah, Aider uh, staying about even with Boo this time, which is much different than last uh, last Ooh. round. But <laughs> Barely misses. All right, we'll... Okay. Majin Buu wins it, does not follow up very well, but a much better start for Majin Buu in general. Mm -hmm. uh, Aider was able to basically take out him and all of Kui before going down, so. Oh, the false courage is really going to help him here. Punch and then Aider attack. Yep. Very nice. He tried Kaiko setting him as he was charging towards him. 
That would be pretty funny if that worked, though. Like, if he actually stunned him while he was running at him. I think we've seen something like that happen. Maybe only for, like, rush B2s, where, like, they get a stun move out as the guy's rushing, and so he just yeah. gets stunned and moves past him. I don't know if it works for the, like, charging B2s. I'd have to assume no, because I feel like they just become active hitboxes, or... Yeah. And they don't really have a hurt box. A heart box? <laughs> Heart box. <laughs> a heart shaped box. False courage. And Where it looks like your it, it's more even this time. So, um, but Aider's not really doing. Aider was dominating last match, so. Yeah, and even if they're doing better, Pilafs didn't have to touch the field. That is so, true. So, you know, WDFA still clearly has some muscle behind it. You know, that's under the assumption this seed likes uh, 17. So, another that Aider's Anger. That defense soaking up a good amount of damage. Yeah, because he does have Indignation, so that will do progressively more damage. But, yeah, he has about probably close to defense 4 at this point. Uh, yeah, because uh, he starts with what? Defense 2 or defense 3? Uh, he has defense plus 3. So, yeah, defense four and a half, I believe. So, uh, Boo's just going to suck up a lot of damage. Yeah, and I mean, I think that it is a pretty good matchup for Aider just in kind of like on paper because Aider's attack plus two won't immediately just melt him like it would other characters. Right, Aider's anger still connects for a little bit. Does not get the false courage off, though. He gets the Kaiko Sen, follows up. All right, you know. Yeah, it's a little 3, combo. It's not like, oh, I'm going to stun you and then fly away. High speed clash. Aider wins it. Will Aider be able to take out Majin Buu before he tags this time around? He's looking to. I'm not sure if he's going to do it. I don't know. It. And he's definitely not right. going to have as big of a dominating lead. Oh. But, oh. Just nope. a one more hit. Uh oh, he's looking like he's gonna tag. He switched in. Tag the queen, and there man. he goes. And queen, wow. with not a follow up. <laughs> There's an Aider attack, but it looks like Aider might tag. Yep. Wow, bad. Maybe not bad, but like interesting on both parts because now they're both gonna come back in. If one of them had died and the other had tagged, I would. That's an ult. Be better. Yeah. The so last time the They're old hit 18, or it hit Vegeta for like 18,000. Yeah, I think this, one's this should do about do 16. I think it's going to do 19. 17. 17. It just seems like closer. it was doing uh, more damage uh, before like the blast. Yeah. It's because Vegeta had the defense negative one and ah. Kui doesn't. I don't know if Kui has a natural defense negative one, but that could be the case. I don't, I don't believe case. he does, but geez, he's getting uh, rocked by 17 here. <laughs> As we've started talking, he's already down to basically his last bar. I mean, that's what happens when you get hit by an ult that does two bars. <laughs> yeah, Kui, unfortunately, is pretty much the weak link so far in this match. We haven't seen Pilaf, so we can't really say whether or not he's the weak link. But uh, bad boys are definitely going to hope on and Vegeta to kind of hopefully bring things back in their favor. Oh, yeah. And it seems like the... Oh, uh, that should be oh, it. Oh, wow. That, yeah, Kui did, like, nothing. <laughs> All right, it's going to take a second because when they tag, it does a little animation for them to exit the battle. But because there's no death animation, it, they just stand awkwardly while they wait for the next character to come uh, in. Yes, yes. And uh, man, uh, Boo did not get uh, that much health back from Ooh. 10,000, though. That's really helpful. That's huge. And, I mean, they're up, but I don't think it's anything and Vegeta can't do. Uh, 80,000? If he really tries. Yeah, no, and Vegeta could definitely do 80,000. As we no, wait. This is still... <laughs> Still definitely possible, although he has no tag game, which could be his downfall. Yeah, and he'll be operating on a six-point build once that savior runs out. Mm -hmm. There's his ult, and he's kind of flying away, though. Oh, but it still catches him. Ooh. Yeah, I think that was all of it, or at least close to. I 
they, uh, yeah, I think only one of the waves missed, but there goes 17. So Vegeta is now short by one bar. Yeah, and that's honestly not even that big of a hurdle to climb, especially when the last character is Pilaf, who, while not bad, is not traditionally seen as dominant. Nope, and there goes the rolling smash into outer space. Or into the null void, or whatever they call it. <laughs> The, the null universe yeah um yeah vegeta i would i would definitely give him the advantage against pilaf we still have Ader in the back who is quite strong so he could clean it up if pilaf can do enough damage to vegeta yeah as long as pilaf goes even or just slightly behind i think wdfa is gonna get this yeah it just depends on how how aggressive vegeta is gonna be right but I, I mean, did not read off pilaf's build last time because he did not come in so i will read it off this time since i haven't read off any of the other builds uh he is on defense plus two launcher support indomitable fighting spirit latent energy light body and frieza ai I and mean, that defense plus two will help him but if vegeta decides to just uh do some rush blast damage that defense doesn't won't even matter yeah i mean he does have the attack plus two and the Rush Blast 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's going to stack like crazy. And he, he is eating through that defense. But credit to Pilaf, he is keeping up with Vegeta. Mm -hmm. And has even taken a lead sometimes. Yeah, I mean, he he's staying slightly behind him right now. But, I mean, you know, 1v2 uh, from the Android. You know, that'll end up easily catching it back up. So... Yeah, I mean, Vegeta does have that defense negative one, and the rolling smash is a pretty decently damaging move. Ooh, false courage. Max out that defense. All right. Come on. This would be a great time to do a B2. There it is. Rolling there it is. smash. Boom. Nice 8,000 wow. points. Okay. This is this is doable by either side. This is getting really close and down to the wire. False Weird courage tag. to tag. Weird tag. And Aider does have eternal life. I don't think he's going to have enough time for that to be of use. Vegeta's just destroying no, him. Oh, yeah. Vegeta's just like, I want this to go to a third. Super Saiyan 2. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's that should it. be it. Yeah, the, the energy ball killed him, not the volley. Wow. Vegeta just going beast mode on Aider right there. All right. So, uh,. Pilaf does not have energy, so I think this is going to have to go to a round three. Unless Pilaf pulls out the craziest clutch performance. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> but a very close match coming down to the last bar. Oh, yeah. So let's go into a round three here as I set up the match. Oop. All right, let's go. Woo! Round Woo. three, the last match. So will bad I, boys get their rightful place as the bronze champions? Or will the WDFA baddest of boys. Uh, get that nice shiny, shiny bronze added to their uh, android physique? Some bronze accents on their metal bodies. Yeah, basically. Aider is completely an android, correct? Yes, he's not a human that was made into an android. At least it's never stated that he's right. that he was one of those. Although with the uh, he's Frankenstein. Yeah, he's a Frankenstein. So I mean, theoretic, maybe like because of the stitching that he has around his head, you know, obviously it's a reference towards Frankenstein. But maybe it was like Doctor Jiro cut open some human, ended up putting, you know android modifications into Aider like that it's certainly possible um as far as this match goes Aider is starting off with a, a small little lead uh it seems as though from the first to second match Aider's start is hugely influential to the rest of the match mm -hmm. false courage gets hit by that super kamehameha and now it's bad time to do that yeah it's almost an even match now Aider, Aider attack. attack! You can't fly down from there. There is no down. 
Ooh, you yeah. almost got the hell okay. off. That would have been big. I, I, I want to give the matchup to Aider just in general. He seems to have proven each round that he is a, a stronger fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just whether or not Boo can perform well. Because I feel like on paper, Aider is just right now a better character. Yeah. Oh, but he eats Ooh. another Super Kamehameha. He tried dodging it, but... And now Stuck Boo has the a wall. slight lead. A wall in a hard place. <laughs> a rock wall in a hard place. False Courage. Gets it off. Ooh. Hater's Anger. Hits. Wow. What a nice sequence. That was really, really good. <laughs> Got punched him out of the Kaiko Sen. And, Ooh, and another attack. He's going to get two bars back. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we uh, I think we saw how last time we did not do well against Aider, at least in the first no. match. So. Or or 17. Yeah. So, I mean, Kui's definitely the weak link here of the bad boys. So do as much as you can, Kui. That's all you can ask. Yeah. I mean, look, he is is a member of this team and this team was the number one seed. So clearly he has to do something. I know he might not be the strongest, but you know, not every win can be a two character oh, win. Oh, he got the howl off. Will we see a you hurt Goku? I hope so. I mean, that oh. would do massive damage. Nice little uh, melee combo there from uh, Aider. He's got that power body. Oh, but Kui punches through it. Oh, never mind. All right, Aider. Oh, anger, anger. smart. Still. Okay, well, 9,000. Yeah, and he's already on his <gasps> second character. Look at that. Got the false courage off, too. Kui just was a little too slow on that little, like, what is it, a rush smash attack? Yeah. And Something so now like that. <laughs> that's just more damage for Aider to do, which gives WDFA such a higher lead. Yeah. Okay. A nice tag from Kui bringing in Vegeta, but that's just another character that Aider can start working on. Mm -hmm. But I think Vegeta, Vegeta will take out Aider. Yeah. And that should... That's an all... Oh, no! He's going to be too it... low. He is too low. Oh, he caught him Ooh. once. High-speed clash. Okay. Aider wins it. Even a bar to Vegeta, I think that's not the worst thing in the no, world. No, I think I think that's definitely gonna help. Uh, although, granted, Kui and Boo are each at two bars. Both tag. Yeah, I mean that is really good tag play. It could come back to win them this match. Seventeen coming in with that savior, but I oh, he's got to do a lot of damage to Vegeta. Flash instead of a dance like we saw the last two times. Yeah, I mean, that would have done at least half damage to Vegeta, so kind of a misplay there. Well, I mean, two Photons are really making some work on Vegeta here. That is true. And uh, he is being very aggressive up in Vegeta's face. Vegeta has yet to do a bar, but I think that will change. Maybe. <laughs> well, maybe. We'll see. He lost a little bit of key there. And he's going to get okay, Photon gonna... here. No, he didn't. Finish oh, sign. That's not good. You don't want no. 17 to start stacking those. I mean, he could probably finish him off with one photon flash or the energy balls. Oh, the fo yeah, the photon flash would uh, finish him off now. Whoa! But, I mean, yeah, Vegeta's that not playing. That was a full bar around. combo. Whoa! Yep. Holy! That's what? rush blast three with attack plus two. Oh my god! 17 had almost. Full health, and then Vegeta did two combos. Yeah, 17 was done with that. <laughs> Whoa. 17 was not happy. No, that is huge damage. That could be the deciding factor, that 20,000 points of damage that Vegeta just did. I will say, it looks like if, um, at least on this map, um, if an android does take out somebody else, it gives a slight advantage because of that delay. Um, yeah. Ooh. For them to get free passive charge, like more yeah. so than normal. I, I see what you mean by that. Yeah. Ah, Lord oh. Frieza, blocked. Ooh, blocked. 
Oh, and that's it. Yep, Photon. So, I mean, Caught he goes up to two. Like, he gets bar and a half, two bars of free key right there because of the delay yeah. in the uh, modded map. That's pretty big uh, for them. Ooh! Especially when it's Android 17 who has a two-bar B2. Yeah, so. and he is built to do B2s. So that's definitely a, an advantage. And this is going to hurt. Yep, Photon right there. Photon. Misses. Oh! All right, Boo, if you can finish him off. I don't know if he can get through all of Pilaf, but it, it would certainly make it a better position. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works with the just like whatever your s standard bar is, because I guess Boo doesn't have a standard bar at two. I guess he has a standard bar at one. Mm. So we would have to see how the one bar does, or the like two or three bar standards do. All right, Pilaf, can you win it for your uh, team? Rolling Smash. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought the Kamehameha was gonna catch him at first. Iko Sen, Boo, I think that Boo could do this. Pilaf is not the strongest character. He's not weak, but he's not the strongest. Ooh, with an angry explosion, yeah, more than likely he'll be able to do this. Okay, <laughs> flying around a little bit. Yeah, let's, well, uh, you know, we're checking out the scenery of the new map. We haven't really been anywhere except for under the damn map. <laughs> yeah. Super Kamehameha yeah. oh. versus a rock. Kamehameha's are stronger Ooh. than rocks. Yeah, bad timing for that rock throw. Good idea, bad timing. Do you think that the rock was part of the ring at one point? You know what? I, let's make that canon right now. Every time he does gigantic rock throw, he just picked up a piece of the arena. At least on this uh, map. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is the Kaiko Sen. And get the rock nice in the roll face. Back. That was a smooth move. He rolled back and threw a rock in his face. Oh, yeah. This is so close. I mean, it, yeah, it's it's a bar and a half difference, but I mean, Boo can make that up with that uh, B two and charge with the that Kamehameha. Yeah, I mean, this is it. Okay, it, it feels a lot closer than it looks. Yeah, because we know that be just one B two can swing it. So, oh, gets the false courage off. Some rush blast. Oh my God, Boo is surviving. Oh, Kamehameha okay. misses. It's, oh my he's god, now under him. There we go. Okay, there we go. WDFA getting the bronze medal. Uh third place in the tournament of power. So they, their universe, gets to live. The bad boys universe gets destroyed. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing. They were bad people. So goodbye. The e evil doers are not uh the Justice League people who are like top and all that. They don't like them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> uh, so make sure to do your usual YouTube thing of liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, checking out our website and our discord to learn more about Dragon Ball Z League. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jay. And we will see you in the final episode where we will figure out the champion of the Tournament of Power.